Okay, hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create some fantastic presentations like this. Like you can see this slide, this complete detailed and rich slide is created by an AI. This slide also created by an AI and it's free of charge, free to use, free to share and reshare and download things even on PPT format. And you can even edit on the platform as well or ask the AI to kind of edit and add more features. You can do this on your research paper or on your report writing, or you can on your own do it on any kind of journal paper or conference paper that you're about to deliver the presentation. You can just upload the paper and be detailed about what you wanted to include in the presentation and it is just going to do just that. Okay, we're going to start from the beginning, accessing the AI. This AI model is none other than genspark.ai. You can access it by just coming to your browser and just typing in genspark, just like so, .ai, and it will bring you over to this very platform. There are so many tools attached to this, like you have newly introduced the AI sheets, which we're going to cover in a later video. And then we have the video generation. It can generate videos for you directly. It can call someone for you on the phone directly, or you have AI chat chats that you can chat directly with it and then you can have other agents that you can play around with but our main target for today is the ai slides creation or presentation creation and here this is the chat area where you can add in the chats and of course you can have voice over to sending message to the chatbot using voice message that means you can enable your microphone and so on and then over here you can attach files or images of the about and have it analyze it for you directly and over here to the left you have other features like you have the ai slides ai sheets image studio and video generation or all agents platform okay so but you have to of course log in to start using this very platform now you can log in of course free of charge with any of your gmail or any account that you have or username and password if you have logged in before okay so let's go into ai slides okay so we have one of my papers that i have let me show you so i have this research paper that i want to generate the powerpoint slide on so you can see this one completely it's just a paper about flood management in nigeria and you can see the details of it and i want to use this to generate this slide so we can come back and then over here i'm just going to paste in can you generate five slides from this research article include the major sections of the paper so i can attach the paper from here i can just move in this is the paper i'm talking about and then we can just upload it give some seconds to finish the uploads and then we can generate so right now it has finished the upload i can just go ahead and click on generate and the best part of this is that you'll be able to see the thinking process on how it is generating the slides you can see right now it is thinking i'll help you generate five slides from the research article about flood risk management in nigeria uh, so you can see it is using this tool and then you can be able to see the thinking process okay how it is thinking and what it is thinking about you'll be able to see it directly so you can view the details of what it is thinking what is accessing and as it's moving it is going to start the slide canvas this right now we have two sides to this the thinking side as well as the slide size this is where it's going to show you the coding process the preview process as well as the thinking process as well on the other side so you can see all the outlines that it has provided and then down here you can enter your slides request here or add in more details or request for more information or request for more edits from this particular AI tool. Okay, and you will be able to see the preview over here and what it is thinking now, it is visually showcasing each of the contents of the slides, what it needed to do. And now you can see the coding process because there are three steps to this, the thinking, and then it will code everything. And then it will show you the preview of what it has created. So you can kind of look at each side, each section of the work and see what it is thinking and what it is generating. So the coding section is now in process and then you'll be able to visualize the slide that it is going to create. So this is going to be one of five slides. And then at the end of it, you'll be able to see the preview of what it has created. And this is showcasing the preview. You can see the slides, you can see the details of it and everything. And then it's going to the second slide. Now to go to the coding, it go to the thinking and then show the preview at the end of it. So this is showing the thinking and the coding. So I'm going to fast track this so that you can be able to see the end results. 
All right, and as you can see, the creation of this slide has just been completed. You can see the details of each slide here by the left, uh, slide one to five, and you'll be able to see, visualize the different slides. You can see them for slide one to five as well. From here, it's been created. Now, one of the key things about this is that you can edit any of the sections from the platform, like I said earlier on. So all you need is just to be on which slide and you can click on select to edit. And you can click and then once you enable the select to edit means you can edit any section of the slide for example here you can click and you have the option to edit the content the text directly or you can change the font style the font sizes you can change that as well you can bold you can italize on the line and italize things very easily you can do all of this all right so you can select any section and they are editable you can see any of these sections once you select it you'll be able to edit any of these sections as you so wish and you can move in slide by slide as well to carry out that edit you can edit any section whatsoever you may have all right all you need is just to click and you'll be able to have the access and then if you want further information or further questions about this particular slide you can ask the question probably to enable it to edit or carry out more content or adding more content or remove some sections of it and then you can fact check content if you want to fact check any section of the content if you're interested you can select it and you can kind of carry out the fact checking it's going to check whether it's a genuine content or not or oh, it's actually from this research paper that you've added or not. Now, the best part of this is that you can be able to export this tutorial. You can view and export. If you click on this, it is going to showcase the outline of the five slides. And then if you want, you can export directly from there. Or you can even deliver the presentation online using this particular feature. So you have the option to showcase this is a preview of all the slides and if you play it from here it is going to play all the slides that you have this is slide one this is slide two and this is slide three this is slide four and this is slide five accordingly and then if you want you can export you can click to export in pdf or you can export it in ppt and even further continue with your editings or they are about in your powerpoint outside of the GenSpark software or the AI tool. Okay, and then over these three dots, you have the option to edit this particular presentation in Canva. You can connect it to Canva and you can connect it to Figma as well and then continue with your editings. Let's see right now, you can see it's been downloaded in PowerPoint and once you click, you have access to point and you can continue to edit because it is editable also on PowerPoint. All right, and you can see your presentation has been delivered. You can see it over here and you can go ahead and edit. This is on PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint. You can click to edit and you can change the dimension or anything that you may want. You can click, you can see the elements are directly editable. You can edit them accordingly if you want to edit any section of them. Okay, very easily. So this basically concludes this simple tutorial about the use of this AI can actually use to create your presentation from your papers directly. So let me show you the pricing in case if you're interested because you have the access to start for free. All right, this is the upgrading plan if you want. I think on a daily basis, you'll be able to have these 200 credits, free credits on a daily basis, though with limited access to the AI models and agents. But then if you want full feature, then this is the best part to subscribe to this is a plus plan and pro plan depending on your interests but it does create some fantastic graphs that you can deliver your presentations very easily and you can be as detailed as you want so this concludes this simple tutorial on how to use this ai tool to kickstart your creation process i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye